Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So if you have watched any of my old videos, you will know that I like to keep things as super simple as possible. That's why when I work with a client, I like to use the analogy that their website is very much like their smartphone. So in this analogy, WordPress is like the operating system and your plugins are like the apps on your smartphone. So there are many apps to choose from on your smartphone and likewise with your website, there are loads and loads of plugins to choose from to extend the functionality of WordPress. Now on your smartphone, you may notice from time to time that you get push notifications to say that either the operating system or the apps need to be updated. Now the same goes for your WordPress website. You may log into your dashboard and you may notice an orange circle on the left hand side with a number in it. These are the updates that need to be done on your website. It may be updating WordPress, your operating system, your plugins, apps, and then also your theme. Now I bet with your smartphone, you go in and you do those updates. Now the same goes for your website. You need to be doing this at least on a monthly basis. It's an easy task to accomplish, but it's one that is going to really safeguard your website. Now you may be wondering why exactly do I need to do these updates? Now there are a couple of reasons, but one of the main reasons is that old outdated plugins and versions of WordPress can really open up your website to hackers. And one day you may look at your website and you see the white screen of death, or you might not be able to log into your website. Other reasons are up-to-date plugins and versions of WordPress really help your website perform at optimal performance. And on a bonus note, WordPress developers and plugin developers are continuously looking at their plugins and WordPress to make it better. So you won't benefit from all these new additions that developers are continuously adding to the software. Okay, so now how exactly do we know that there are updates that need to be done on our WordPress website? Well, what we're going to do is we are going to log into our website and as soon as we log into our website we are going to see here on the left hand side we'll see an orange circle with the number in it now there are two places with this orange circle we can see here there's a number two and at the top there is a five so under dashboard updates this is going to give you a full list of all the outdated plugins whether you have the latest version of wordpress and also if your theme needs to be updated so here we can see i have the latest version Version of WordPress installed on my website. I then have two plugins outstanding, Cadence Cloud and Really Simple SSL. And then when I scroll down further, I can see there are three themes that need to be updated. Some time ago, WordPress introduced a feature whereby you could enable automatic updates on your plugins. If a plugin updates and causes an issue on your website, you might not notice that something has happened to your website unless you're someone who checks it regularly. And if you're like most of us you probably don't so what I recommend is if you have full confidence in the plugins that you use then you can enable this function or maybe just use these on the critical plugins on your WordPress website now WordPress is coming out with a new version that is going to check if any issues happen after a plugin updates automatically, and if there is an issue, it rolls back. Now this is a new feature to be added to WordPress, and I'm not sure if it's going to work, but if it does, it's going to be an awesome feature, and then you will be able to use this enable automatic updates feature. Now, before we do these updates, there's one, one little task, but super important that we need to do before we do the updates. And that is taking a backup of our website. So we're going to be using a free plugin called Updraft Plus Backups to take these backups. And again, simple task takes no more than a couple of minutes depending on the size of your website but it's really going to again safeguard your website in case you update anything and it breaks your website you can always just roll back to the previous version of your website so let's dive on into my screen i'm going to show you how to take those backups and then after that i'm going to show you how to update your plugins okay so here we are on my dashboard and to take a backup of our website we are going to go to plugins and we are going to install the updraft 
Plus Backups plugin. So I already have it installed on my website. You can see it there, Updraft Plus Backup Restore. And once we've installed it and activated it on our website, we're going to come to settings here and go to Updraft Plus Backups. So once we're here, we're going to ignore the first two tabs and head over to settings. Now I'm not going to run through the whole process of setting up automatic backups. For this video, I'm just showing you how to take a manual backup with Updraft Plus. So the first thing we want to do is choose our remote storage. And the great thing with this plugin is it enables you to send the backup to a remote remote storage of your choice. And there are so many different remote storages to choose from. My personal preference is Google Drive. So what I do is I click on Google Drive and then I have to come down here and I sign in with Google. So what it does is it will flick you over to Google just so that um, the two we the website and Google can talk to each other and that you give Google Drive authorization to speak to your website. Now, once you do that and you've authorized it, it will come back here and then you can scroll down all the way down to the bottom and click Save Changes. You're then going to come to Backup and Restore and you're going to click this button here that says Backup Now. You're gonna make sure that these first three options are ticked. And if you want to, you can only allow this backup up to be deleted manually. So keep it even if the retention limits are hit. It's up to you whether you take this one or not. For me, I want to make sure that it is being sent to remote storage because if you don't send it to remote storage and your website goes down, you won't have that backup. Or what happens is a backup then takes a backup of a backup and your host provider's account, the space on there gets taken up. So we're going to come here and we're just going to click backup now. And how long this takes really depends on how big your website is, how many pages you have, how many images you have, etc. So this website is pretty small, so it's probably going to take a minute or two. What it does is it zips the database, the plugins, the themes, and the uploads. And then once it has been completed, you'll see it down here at the bottom where it says existing backups. So I'm going to leave it to do its thing. So you can see it's now uploading the files to remote store storage and it's just going to go through this process. Okay, so once it has been completed, it will say the backup has succeeded and it is now complete. Okay, so our backup has been taken with Updraft Plus backups. So now we can go ahead and we can update our website. So to do so, what we're going to do is we're going to come to dashboard here and then come to updates. So on this particular website, we have four updates for the entire website that need to be done. Now, once we click on this page, we can see that we have the latest version of WordPress. Then we have two plugins that are outdated and we have two themes that are also outdated and need to be updated. You can either select all and update these all at one time or you can tick each one separately. Now I recommend if you do have a long list of plugins that you need to update, that you only update one or two at a time, just in case you run into any issues. So what you'll do is you'll just tick this box here and then you will click update plugins. That will then flick over to another page and it will show you the process of updating that specific plugin. And once it has been completed, it will pop out a message to say that the update has been successful and then you can go back to your updates page. So here we can click go to WordPress updates page and we can finish doing our plugin updates. So let's finish doing this one. Let's return to the WordPress updates page and finish doing those updates for the themes. Now, sometimes when you do your updates, it may trigger a, another plugin to be updated or something like that. So you may go through the whole process and update things. And then you notice on the left-hand side that there's still updates to be done. 
So just go back to your WordPress updates page and double check that all the updates have been completed. So here we can see we've got latest version of WordPress, our plugins are up to date and our theme is up to date. Now you may be asking now what happens if something happens on my website and I update a plugin and it all crashes. Now there's a few things that you can do if you can still get access to the back end of your website. You might want to install a plugin called WP Rollback. This will enable you to roll back to the previous version of the plugin. The other thing you can do is disable all your plugins and then re-enable them one by one. As you re-enable them, you'll find out that maybe the new update is conflicting with another plugin. So you might have to go on over to the plugin website and see if anyone else has run into this problem and it might have to just be deactivated for a while or you might have to look for a different plugin. The other thing you can do is restore it from your backup. So remember, we took a backup with Updraft Plus backups. So you want to head over there and you want to reinstate your website from there. Now, if you want a tutorial video showing you how to do that, be sure to comment in the comments below tutorial video on backups and I'll happily do one for you. Now, what happens if you see the white screen of death after doing your updates? Now, if you can't log into your WordPress website, then you're going to have to head on over to your C panel or use FTP to disable your plugins or your theme and that really is a video for another day so again if you want that video let me know and I will happily do it for you. Now I know performing updates on your WordPress website might kind of feel like you're diffusing a bomb that's why I created Website Maintenance Simplified. It's a short course to really help you get the confidence to go into your WordPress website and make updates on it. This course is really going to help you learn how to keep your website safe and secure whilst also preventing any downtime or the dreaded white screen of death. Head on over to the link below. It's only $27 and it's really going to help you feel super confident about looking after your WordPress website. Okay, so that's how you keep your WordPress website up to date. Remember to give this video a like and subscribe to my channel if you want more videos to help you create an amazing website for your business. Until next time, bye!